Perfect. Okay, so this is my nephew, Jordan, and um, it was painted during the pandemic last year, and uh, I just felt my heart went out to Jordan because he was a newly qualified doctor working for the NHS, Yeah, and he was really thrown into, in the front line right at the beginning when nobody really knew what was going on, there were a lot of people dying, and um, the PPE that he's wearing here was really inadequate and, um, and I wanted to show um, him looking quite frightened actually because he, nobody knew and he was really on the front line and, and he had to deal with a lot of, um, lot of sadness and on a daily basis. So if you look and I wanted to show it was almost like the, the glass behind the glass, behind the eye. And um, I thought the eyes were incredibly important in this. Yeah. They tell a story. So if you look at the symbols, um, you'll see that the, um, the face mask is here and um, the syringe, of course, and they've all got lots of hospital um, symbols. There is the coronavirus. the coronavirus, sadly, it has yes. to be there. Um, lots of the medicate medical symbols, but he Jordan is also a, a wonderful trumpet player. Oh, lovely! And the Seattle Seahawks, the American um, is it football team or baseball team? Mm -hmm. So this really does represent who Jordan is. So when you go downstairs and you see my other work, you'll see um, the student, the artist the um, drummer, uh, the scuba diver, and they're all important to me, but they each have their role model. Yes. And they each have a partner who they've um, kind of aspired to. So the paintings themselves have partner paintings, and it's that relationship between the two paintings that's really important, isn't it? It really is. Um, it really is. Okay, so we're just talking about the basic techniques of oil here, and we are with Heather Ford, a uh, well-known artist oh, in the you. area and she worked at the Sultan School for many years. Eight wonderful years, <laughs> I have to say. And Phil, can you introduce yourself, your yeah, name? Phil Brazier. Okay, uh, so... Student artist. Okay. Student, you'd never believe that. <laughs> Very mature. <laughs> Brilliant. So I'm just coming here today to really learn a little bit about the techniques that they use in their oil painting and uh, focus on Heather's wonderful artwork in just a moment. Um, so Heather was just talking to me about the materials that she uses. Um, so this one is a thinner. What do you call this? Heather? It's, um, it's a solvent. A solvent. It's a high quality solvent. You can buy cheap spirit mm -hmm. in places like B&Q. Um, but this one is a little bit refined yeah. and it's quite important for us to use the low odour solvent mm -hmm. because it doesn't give off the, um, the, the damaging fumes. fumes. Yeah. 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 Fume and this is, we use this for wood the under painting. Okay. So we start with, usually we start with, um, there are many different ways of um, people paint with oils. And the way I prefer to use, um, the, the technique I prefer to use is using the underdrawing and underpainting technique. Yes. And it certainly helps um, students or people that are starting out to use oils yeah. get and um, feel confident and it's a, it's a really nice, it's a really Sounding good. <laughs> way to build up the painting. Way to build up the yeah. painting. Yeah. And you can see it develop. So, so this is what you were telling me about the burn timber that you use for Yes, and portraits. you can see um, Phil's painting. I'm just going to come round here. And yeah, just have a look so at he's this been one. working on this for quite a while. He's already done the. He's already produced the underdrawing. If you can come into, if I show you what yes, I'm working please, on, please. That'd be good. So. So um, my paintings are rather large. This is my <laughs> latest project. Beautiful. But, um, this is my ten, number ten, and it's of Hassan Mir. He's in. Um, he um, manages the store gallery in Muscat. Wonderful. Very dear friend of mine, and 
I'm painting, um, you can see that I've just started, so this is how I start my, my work. So she applies the grid method, and you do that with I do, just by hand, or do you have... I, I do that on these because... I want to make sure the eyes are in the correct position yeah. for when I put the whole, because this is one of a series. Right, this right. So um, this is, um, I use the grid for lining up the eyes, That's but important. also for my future. Scaling, yeah. And yeah. um, my future, um, the, 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 these are for the symbols. Symbols of each person that you do. Amazing. So you, yeah, so you can see now, I always start with the eyes when I, when I work on portraits. And the reason I work on eyes is because I feel that they really are the, um, the focal point of any portrait. So um, he's Omani, obviously, so he's a Muslim. So you've got the Islamic symbol here. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. And um, coming down now to the Kanjar, very typical of Oman, obviously, yes. very important. The Kanja is a Middle Eastern um, sort of traditional part of their dress, isn't it? Heather? It's um, something that they wear on the belt of their dish sash. A wonderful, um, it's, and they're very proud of their heritage, aren't they? Certainly are. And yeah. This yeah. is the um, national emblem you'll see on the Omani flags. Are you all right with that brush? Is titanium white. Mm -hmm. So this is skin tone when you mix up. Yes, yeah. the titanium white. You could use zinc white. It's a preference, really. Um, cadmium red. Mm -hmm. I'm terrible with keeping everything clean. <laughs> one, one of my biggest weaknesses. I'm so intent on getting the colour down, I forget to clean the. Yellow. This is to help you. You can get a darker one, a darker cadmium yellow. This is the paler version. So as you can see, they're the primary colours and a very small amount of the yeah, French ultramarine. There, take it away then, Phil. So bad. Uh... You can breathe a sigh of relief now, Phil. <laughs> I'm 